Hey, pre-notification gang. Yep, it's coming along great, Rip. You play new dark pictures soon? Yeah, I just forgot that came out. Yeah, I'm excited to see Pokemon. It seems very glitchy, which is cool. <laughs> Thanks to the Prime MB. Makes the resub Samwise in bits thick. little better Mac and yeah she got sentenced I thought a while ago things the resub flames and neo clips and the resub Jenna In the prime T for three. Texas had a car chase, like an interesting one. How many car chases are happening now? Thanks to the prime negative. Thanks to the resub, easy. And the tier one dude. Hey, Scoots. <clears throat> and the prime, sir, haunted in the resub chained. Not sure, Jenna. Hard to say. Yeah, I've heard nothing but bad things about the new Pokemon games. I'm excited. Is it Prime Bruins? Nerissa, Booga, and Wallopy. And the resub dirty mic. I'll do dark pictures with Jackson once my throat's better. But tonight, gonna go over some stuff, then we're starting Pokemon. Which Pokemon game has the character that looks like me? Is it Scar- <laughs> Scar- <laughs> Jesus. Scarlet or Violet? Or does it not matter? Thanks, the resub. Musically Matt, 
accident prone in tier one Oswald in the resub CAD. Mm. Most people are saying Violet, so I'll just do Violet to be safe. <coughs> I'm grabbing it now. Maybe the prime Nate and the gift sub Smokey and the resub August and the prime Y. And the resub Gore. I just, however, I'm feeling Gore, that's all. Did you see the drama with stream elements? No, what happened? Three some stone and zombie. And the resub kitties. That's sweet. Happy birthday to your boyfriend, Ava. Thanks, resub Spivey. Yeah, the co creator of Sonic just got arrested for insider <laughs> trading. <laughs> That's huge. Sonic's fast, but not faster than Yuji with the uh, insider intel. That's actually just so wholesome. Wholesome's the wrong word, but he made Balan Wonderworld, and this is just, like, par for the course. I feel like ever since he even had the idea for Balan Wonderworld, it's been just straight downhill. It all, apparently it involves employees as well, former employees. Oh man. Bow and Wonder World even name dropped in the article about it. Rough. Can't catch a break. Things a tier one soupy. And the prime camper and Thrasher Star Brosian Arab Play Doh Cream. In the prime Michael and the resub hunted. Mm. That's rough vintage. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you find somewhere better. It's the prime rain. And the bits musty. Didn't the Sonic creator die? Uh, you're you're asking the wrong guy. I I really don't know. I'm going to assume. No. That would be my guess. Into the resub, Nayanata, Hydra, and Valid. And the Prime Tundra. No, I'm going to play the Dark Pictures game once I feel, like, good again. They ripped money out of people's PayPal for one of their sponsorships. What? Who are you... We are mixing so many wires right now. Who are you talking about? Sonic? Stream Elements Sponsorships. You're telling me Stream Elements took money out of people's PayPals for their sponsored... No, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. 
What? Here, let's look into it. Yeah, the story's not super deep. It's it's as plain cut as it gets. The Sonic co-creator dabbled in a little insider trading and paid the price. Learned a hard lesson. Like a full Darman episode. <clears throat> what do I even type in to find it? Links to the resub sour and turbo. And the bits medium and savic. Scandal. This is from 2021. Yeah, nothing. Let's see, resub rugged and hooby and the bits medium. Sub Skywalking. Taylor Swift tickets are being sold for 95k. I don't think many people will buy at that price, maybe one or two. Hopefully Ticketmaster burns though. Thanks the resub mister. Elizabeth Holmes, yeah. I heard. Didn't I thought they already announced her sentencing though? Because I are I remember she got eleven years. I and I also remember it also it had nothing to do with like how dangerous and how misleading everything was. It was for defrauding the investors, right? I thought she had already been sentenced. Elizabeth Holmes was the scam artist behind Theranos. No, it's definitely not the Mandela effect because I, I absolutely remembered exactly what it was for. And if you go, I'm sure we could pull up one of the VODs from back then where I said 11 years seems very, very, very light for what she did. And it's a little upsetting that it was for defrauding instead of literally ruining people's lives. Like, that's definitely not Mandela effect. Maybe they had already, did they already like announce her sentencing? And then it just finally got official today or something? Thanks for the resub. Front, Prodigy, Sam, Dylan, Limbo, Stinky, Wallace, and Jeans. She made, th she was the creator of Theranos, which was that company that it, it was talking about revolutionizing modern medicine where you give a little bit of blood to one of her machines and it'll be able to diagnose you within 90 per... Or no, it's higher than that. Some crazy accuracy to whatever's going on. It would be able to give you, like, accurate diagnosis. It'd be able to do everything just from, like, a tiny drop of blood. But obviously, the technology isn't there for that yet. So what ended up happening is people used it, got misdiagnosed, and some people had their whole lives ruined as a result of it. So it would diagnose people with things they didn't have, and they'd get treated for those things they didn't have. It was a huge, huge, huge deal. A massive scam. Billions of billions of dollars invested into the company, all on a lie. And Elizabeth Holmes did everything possible to keep that information from going public. Her plan was keep selling the lie, keep selling this fraudulent shit, and eventually we'll be able to have the technology to do it correctly. So she just kept hoping she could kick it far enough down the line where their technology catches up to the promises, and then it actually works. But 
eventually someone blew the whistle internally, investigation confirmed everything, and she got fucked. Well, not really, 11 years is super light. She's also downright psychopathic, she's evil, so she gave herself- this, I was about to say something super stupid. She got pregnant during all of this in order to push the trial further, so that way she could have like six months to be like a mom and raise her kid. She realized that she'd get lighter sentencing, she'd get more time if she was pregnant or expecting or being a mom. So she got pregnant for that sole reason. I was going to say she gave herself a child, which is stupid. She's not like a robot that can just like implant the child into her belly. It would have been a really dumb fucking statement. But she planned a pregnancy around this in order to get lighter sentencing and more time of freedom. Thanks to the resub, Hans, Softcore, Justin, Ipsy, and the Tier 1 Virtual. Did it work? No. But 11 years is a joke. I swear to God, though, they had to have announced this, like, earlier. I, I, I very distinctly remember even having this conversation with chat because it... I haven't read any of this. I haven't read any of this. The 11 years, and tell me if I'm right, the 11 years isn't even from, like, the people that had their lives ruined as a result of it and all the lying and all of that. It's because she defrauded investors. So they got her for defrauding and none of the other stuff, right? That's what she actually got slapped with. Exactly. Yes, I, I thought so. So how the fuck could I possibly know that if this was only announced today? I swear, I thought she was sentenced like a year ago, because I remember talking about all of this. Did they, like, go through all of that, all of that uh, hoopla and the sentencing and everything, and now today it's, like, officially going through, like she starts... Is that, is that what happened? Oh, holy shit. Thank you for the 50 gift subs again, Spider-Man. What the fuck, man? It's good to see you again tonight. I hope you've had a good couple days. Thanks for resub. <laughs> Bizzle. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that, Spider-Man. God damn, thank you. This was them upholding that decision. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that makes a lot more sense then. That makes sense to me. Okay, cool. So she got convicted for that, not sentenced till today, upholding that decision. Got it. Thanks to the Prime Loco and the Resub Sierra twice in Quan. Thank you so much for that again, Spider Man. No, I'm not like a time traveler or anything. I, I just swear to God, I, I remembered all of this from a while back. But I'm glad to see that it's it's done now. So she will be facing that prison time. 11 years is way too light, so hopefully she'll try and appeal and they reopen this and then slap her with a couple life sentences because what she did is unforgivable. Absolutely unforgivable. Oh, also, I saw this on Twitter and it kind of ties in. She was on the cover of Forbes 400. You know who else was on that cover? Sam. The face of FTX, the billion dollar collapse that we've been going over, an absolute massive fucking Ponzi scheme. Classic Forbes, putting scammers on the front page. Thanks to the resub Presto and Lauren and Zombie and Cucumber. No, I just, I, I really don't respect Forbes. I haven't liked Forbes in like two or three years now. And one of the big reasons for it is as simple as this.
You think I'm gonna disable my ad blocker for you? You honestly think that? You got me fucked up. No siree. Thanks to resub Chris Wondo and the Prime Smoke. I know you can inspect element it away. It's the principle. <coughs> Is there a sub tree? No, we're doing the new Pokemon tonight after going through more shit. I still want to talk about all the speed stuff. And I also saw this. I didn't see the video, but I saw Pyro talking about it and it seems amazing. I don't know how I missed this from Kira, but I really wanted to check this out as well. So after that, then we'll do some Pokemon, but there's just been a lot of wacky stuff happening today. Thanks to Resub Kryptonics. You can find the Stream Elements drama on Twitter by typing Stream Elements into the search bar. Let me see. I also don't put a whole lot of stock into the authentic I don't put a lot of stock into the authenticity authenticity of claims made through just random Twitter threads, but let me see. If you're a creator who's done Stream Element sponsorship and been paid via PayPal, check your email and PayPal account because it's happening to lots of people currently in the negative now. And then it's a picture of minus $2,400. If you did a HelloFresh sponsorship with Stream Elements, check your email. I'm negative $500 now. They took money without reason. Wow, there's a lot of reports of this. What the fuck? Is this real? How the fuck can this be real? One person is minus $7,200. What kind of sponsorship is doing $7,200 through stream elements? How the fuck is that possible? I'm not, I'm, I'm not like doubting it, but that is outrageous. Those like built-in sponsorships don't usually go that high. Yeah, a lot of people are reporting it, though. I'm going to keep my eye on it. See what that's about. Thanks to the resub, Andre and Lesbian and the Bits Delirium. Dylan, Danny, and KSI. I think it's so cute that no one actually knows that guy. But yeah, I know I know what you're talking about. Dylan Danis. He, uh, he was stirring up some trouble today. So he went to the KSI thing, got in his face, and then threw coffee, which hit Wade and KSI. And then in the parking lot... A big fight broke out where he got his shit rocked and then tried to play it off like he wasn't hurting. It was really pathetic. I don't know this guy. Most people don't, but I looked into him. Apparently his whole claim to fame is he's just an unlikable douchebag. And that's it. And it was on full display today. It was pretty entertaining though. Like this, I can't show it because I don't think Twitch would allow it. But this, it's just a full scuffle. A guy named, I think, Anthony Taylor just follows him around after the coffee throwing thing. And he's like, I'm an MMA fighter too. And then he just throws this punch, which connects cleanly on Dylan. And then Dylan's crew just attacks him. It leads to an all-out scuffle. And they all got their shit pushed in. One guy, I'm pretty sure, got his teeth, or one of his tooth knocked out. 
because he like threw something from his mouth on the ground and his mouth was bloody but then had the audacity to say i got a clean shot in but if you watch the video he threw one punch and it completely missed so dylan danis like his crew isn't exactly the most elite tier of fighters either I, I don't think we can watch the whole thing because of the blood. Maybe the beginning here. Because there's no blood or anything in the beginning. This is where it started. Uh, I probably can't show that part because that's going to be copyrighted. Dylan walks up to KSI, gets in his face, starts some shit. It's pretty cringe from Dylan, to be honest. KSI, of course, still copping a huge W out of all of this. Dylan just looks like a bitch. Uh, he throws coffee which completely misses KSI initially. He hits Wade, and then the coffee spills a little bit on KSI, and then it leads to this. I'll skip around a little bit. So that's his first clean shot on Dylan. And the camera work is actually pretty superb. And that was the guy who said he got a clean shot on him right here. It completely misses. This is also the guy who ends up missing a tooth. So this was his clean shot that he was bragging about to Dylan. But yeah, it ends in just a big scuffle. And here's that guy. <laughs> He's already bruising. Anthony Taylor seems to want that smoke. I don't know what that is, to be honest. I thought that was a homeless guy on the street. The tough talk just doesn't really work when you walk away looking this bad. I think that was uh, the wrong play. At that point, he should have just challenged him to an official fight. Like, he just looks really silly here. He looks like he's about to cry. But yeah, that's the drama there. KSI also called out Dylan for all this, and rightfully so. It makes sense. No, he, I mean, like, physically, it's just a bruise like it, it, he's not nearly as fucked up as his friend who i'm pretty sure lost a tooth his you can't luckily you can't see it here else it'd be a problem on twitch but where does he uh, a little before this he talks about the clean shot that he got in and then he threw a tooth on the ground i'm pretty sure so i think his friend walks away much worse off I saw a lot of people saying it was staged, and of course the shit talking at the events is staged, like all of that showmanship, that's all very, like, agreed upon beforehand, but this in the parking lot, this is as real as that shit gets, this is, this is like actual, raw, full scuffle. But yeah, everything before that, uh, 100%, you know it's coming. Thanks to the resub, Shiny, Banana, Vestal, Sus, Cody, Zero, Sonya, Rag, Doc, Bunghole, Temple, and Robotic. Yeah, I can post that soon, Trash. It'll be on the other channel if I forget, though, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Vegan. That's rough. Thanks to the resub, bad. <clears throat> Thanks to the five gift subs, lesbian. Is the guy who punched Dylan a UFC fighter? Yeah. His name's Anthony Taylor. Yep, Moist Esports does play tonight. 
If I'm still awake, I would absolutely like to watch it because I didn't get to watch the last one. Thanks to resub, Steve. Hope you're well. Oh, he's not in the UFC? Uh, this is the first time I've heard of Anthony Taylor, was in this. But he was saying that he's an MMA fighter too. I just made the assumption. Okay, my bad then. Things are resub Jesus. And the resub ironic. Things are the bitch butter. I saw. I'm excited to see that in game. We'll get to that tonight. Thanks to the prime rid. <clears throat> Thanks to the resub lane. Has he already talked about the Twitter thing? You talking about everything that happened last night? Yeah. I tried to catch up because during stream, everyone was talking about it <laughs> going down. But uh, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. It just seems like tons and tons of employees aren't coming in after the ultimatum. <clears throat> Which I think will eventually have a pretty detrimental effect, but it's not going to shut it down overnight. I really do not think... Elon can afford that platform for a very long time. He's down 44 bill off just the initial purchase and the $13 billion loan that he's going to have to pay interest on over the years. That's a lot of money that platform needs to make, and Twitter Blue is a huge flop. Like an actual massive flop. So I don't know how the fuck he manages to keep bleeding money like that for an extended period of time. He's also fired over half the staff now, and then another large chunk has left on their own accord. I don't think Twitter needs a ton of employees, though. They clearly weren't benefiting from it because the platform was dog shit even before he bought it. I'm just curious how he's going to plan to like improve it or make big changes when the workforce isn't really there for him anymore thanks to the resub lane jacob colossal or oh yeah colossal goldie reginald and tier one haley <clears throat> You shit on Elon for firing a bunch of people. I shit on Elon for a lot of things, some very silly stuff. That wasn't one of them. I said it's stupid to fire like 80% of the workforce when you already don't have a clue on what you're doing in the first place. I think that's stupid. But I've said from the very get-go, it's a bloated company, so it makes sense to start trimming it down a bit. It's not like having all those people on staff was doing the, the uh, platform any good. Facebook doing it too, Facebook doing it too, Amazon doing it too, yep. Expecting people to work 80 hour weeks is ridiculous. Yeah, the ask is huge, but there's going to be people there that'll do it, and he knows that. Also, I, I'm pretty sure this is still holding true. I read a, a report from the Wall Street Journal, I think it was, that he's currently looking for someone else to run Twitter, so that way he's not as hands-on. I think that's fucking adorable. 
He's already like, yeah, this is a bit much. Someone else do it for me. I think that's fucking amazing. I don't know if it's changed over the last, what, like 48 hours since that came out, but that put a big smile on my face. Thanks to the tier one candy. He runs like five other companies. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got his finger in a lot of pies. I don't know why he thought that taking on this project was going to be something he could feasibly do. All he does is shit post. He never planned to run Twitter, he said that before he bought it. Must have missed that then. Previous Twitter management didn't believe in profit. It's just a hard platform to monetize in general, man. It's not like Elon's doing a better job of it. But he's, he's definitely taking steps to try and make money. Even though a lot of them are fucking misguided. That Twitter blue, not only is it a dumb idea, but it was a huge flop. The highest estimate was 440,000 Twitter blue subscribers. Even if you round that to half a mil and $8 a month, that gives you $4 million a month in income. That pays for a single day of operational cost. Because Elon reported that they lose $4 mil a day. So it was a flop. It was a stupid idea. It's pretty bad. And they, they've lost a lot of advertisers as of now, so they're, they're not in a great spot. But him getting rid of a lot of employees I don't think was a bad idea. Twitter doesn't need 7,500 employees or whatever it was. They clearly weren't doing much because the platform was turbo ass even before Elon. Thanks to the tier 1 Zach and the resub Kayla. But I also think publicly shitting on them and then firing them when they defend themselves publicly is very weak. That's a very weak chin. Thanks to the Prime, Herpo, and the Resub, TG, and Hamza. Things of the gift sub against Spider Man. Imagine paying for a check mark. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. I it's exactly as everyone knew it would be. If you see anyone with a check mark on Twitter, the replies to it are always one of two memes. The uh pointing and saying this motherfucker paid for Twitter or some variation of minus eight lol. It's it's so good. The most predictable outcome ever. It is actually just a humiliation badge. Thanks to the resub man. <laughs> and the gift sub Spider Man. Thank you for that man. Oh, and the gift sub Co. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the raid again last night. I really don't know how you monetize Twitter. People keep asking me, how do you monetize it? I have no fucking clue. I don't have the answer. That's probably the hardest platform ever to monetize. There are ads on Twitter. But they're shit. You probably, actually, you probably don't even notice that there's ads on Twitter because you see it and immediately scroll right by it. Not everything needs to be monetized. He paid 44 billion for it, man. It has to be mon- It's- 
what do you mean not everything you're right not everything needs to be monetized it is a fucking massive platform they can't just run it at billions upon billions of dollars in loss where is that money gonna come from The government. I guess we could try and, like, rewrite the Constitution and make Twitter a God-given right so that way it's protected and the government will step in and make sure it exists even without making money. We could try. We could try and let that shit rip. Aren't you doing the same with Moist Esports? On a much smaller scale, though. Like, all the money I lose on Moist Esports is money Twitter is losing every second. And that's different, though. That's, like, a pure passion thing. And eventually I would like it to make money through, like, in-game item sales or merch sales. Like, that'd be great, so it's not always out of my pocket, but it doesn't bother me that it is. Twitter is Elon's passion. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're right. He could let it run red if he wants. I'm not his accountant. I don't give a fuck. If he wants to dr like dunk another 20 bill into the shitter, by all means. It, it matters not to me. I'll just sit here and laugh. Things that prime Trent and the Risa Quantum, Julio, Jago's, Baristus and the Gifts of the Gun Spider Man. People really think billionaires are smart, but then you see Elon who literally bought Twitter. I, I feel like there is definitely some level of <clears throat> skill required, even though people like every single billionaire pretty much was born wealthy and just turned that wealth into more wealth. I still think there is some level of understanding of shit to make that work, but they were all very fortunate with their spawn. Like they all got a very favorable spawn, a lot of money, so they had a lot to play with. But yeah, they're not immune to making absolutely batshit stupid fucking decisions. The financial skill gap is crazy. True, man, that RNG was nuts. People always talk about Elon like he came from nothing and built everything himself, which is so fucking far removed from reality, it's laughable. There is currently no billionaire that I'm aware of, except for the five-hour energy guy, who is an actual saint. Aside from him, I don't think there's any billionaire that didn't come from wealth in some way or another. I could be wrong, because I don't know all of them off the top of my head, but all the ones I can think of had some head start. Kanye's not a billionaire anymore, that doesn't work. Oprah? Is Oprah a billionaire? That'd be news to me. Here, how about we rectify this statement then? We'll revise it. The vast, overwhelming majority of billionaires had a remarkable head start with the amount of money they had to begin with. How about that? Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Green Goblin. Appreciate that, man. And another 5 gift subs, Spider-Man. Spider-Man and the Green Goblin fighting each other yet again, but in gift subs this time. Thanks for your sub, Rhino and Best Friend and the Tier 1 screaming. Mr. Beast is not a billionaire. The valuation on all of his businesses is over a billion dollars. That does not mean he is a billionaire. He does not have a billion dollars at his disposal. What someone's worth isn't necessarily what they have. 
And I also don't know if he got that billion dollar valuation. Thanks to the resub Ichi and Sushi. Who's the five hour energy guy? Oh, this guy is such a fucking saint. I've sucked his dick so many times. This is like the only CEO I think actually does meaningful stuff with his billion dollars. What uh, What was the article? I, I won't even bother pulling up the article. I'll just go to like the general. Uh, where is it? Yep. So he's, he's, for a long time, even when I was in high school, he's been giving away all of his money to anything that he thinks can help the world benefit in multiple ways. I... I I've never read anything bad about any of his investments or anything that he's putting his money towards. It really seems like he does a lot of the work himself and puts his billions into actual, like, like actual good, wholesome, world-changing causes. Like, this guy legitimately does very good stuff. From everything I've ever read. I don't know if it's changed over the years, but I remember even in high school, this guy was doing some really impressive stuff. So he seems like a good guy. Thanks to the resub river and the prime long john and punk. In the resub air. Have to do some morally awful stuff to become a billionaire. I'd normally agree, but from everything I... Again, from pretty much everything I read about this guy, he really didn't. He made 5-hour energy drink, and he never intended for it to be anything popular. This dude legitimately just created this, and it blew up. Straight up. Uh, I never read anything about him exploiting anyone or fucking anyone in the ass or anything like that. Like this, I, I really don't think this guy did anything like awful to become what he did. Now, maybe information has changed. I have no idea. I, I really don't. But I, I've kept in since around high school and it's always just been good stuff from this guy. Putin is a self-made billionaire. <laughs> Alright. Thanks to the tier one prince. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss, fill up my water, and then we're gonna go over the speed stuff. Because I watched all this in real time, and CoffeeZilla posted the video last night, so I'll be right back. Just give me one sec.
Make the new sub truck stop picks in the prime subtle. In the resub mo. And kip. In the prime val. Yeah, I talked about this a couple days ago. So I, when I watched the speed stream, I got to see most of it as it unfolded. It was so wild. So Speed recently did an entire stream dedicated to shilling a crypto called Paradox Metaverse. It's embarrassing. It's a, The whole stream was a disaster. So it started with a PS5 giveaway. So you see all the PS5s behind them. And the whole... Th the whole thing with the giveaway is, you know, give it to the chat, thanks for supporting, Paradox, Metaverse to the Moon, and Speed would take out a sledgehammer and break the PS5s, which I think is terrible, I think it's a fat L, I already talked about that, but the crypto itself is <laughs> so bad, the creators even got interviewed by CoffeeZilla on stream, and they made themselves look so stupid, so unbelievably stupid. I couldn't believe they even accepted the interview. They were unprepared. They damn near confessed to it all just being a scam to begin with. It was baffling. Absolute nonsense. And I sent all of it... Well, back backtrack a bit. I sent it all to CoffeeZilla right before like uh, going live. So a couple hours before. And CoffeeZilla started researching it, and he made this video, he did the interview. It has been so entertaining to see, so now I'm excited to watch the video. I, I did see that he shouted me out in the comments here for tipping him off, and I, I got butterflies in my stomach. To be to something like this before CoffeeZilla is crazy. So, happy to help. I also did a ton of research on it, I went deep into the weeds. One of the people behind the crypto scam is a YouTuber named Money Kicks whose dad is worth like 2.1 billion. So I mean, it, it has so many layers. It's such an interesting little rabbit hole. Is the streamer I show speed and he's about to accidentally expose the scam he's been paid to promote. Especially for speed, just for you. Paradox crypto to the moon. Paradox, crypto to the moon. Not mm. only that, I actually ended up confronting the people behind all of this and it didn't exactly go well. Advertising 10X to 100X is that a get-rich-quick scheme? Yes or no? No. no we're gonna he did them so much credit there because talking to them was like hitting your head against a wall. So he'd ask them a point-blank question, and they do the standard circular talk around it forever. And no matter how many times Coffee would be like, yes or no, they'd still just go into their spiel about shit that is completely irrelevant to whatever they're saying. It was frustrating, but still overall entertaining. We're gonna get to all of this, but first, let's start at the beginning. <coughs> so what started as a live stream to meet Cristiano Ronaldo and give away PS5s quickly turned into a nightmare after Thanks fans realized Coco the meetup and John was fake and, and was being used to promote a scam. Literally, they used a and fake somebody. Cristiano Ronaldo who couldn't play soccer and was wearing a Buy Paradox Crypto Coin t-shirt. And it quickly so got good. The live chat started calling Paradox Coin a scam in the middle of this sponsored stream. So, I looked into this a little bit. This guy has made an entire career off looking like Cristiano Ronaldo. So he was in another YouTuber's video from a few years back called the Cristiano Ronaldo prank. And they just walked him around with security and got people's reactions. So this guy, he doesn't play soccer or anything like that. He just goes and promotes things that they want someone that looks like Ronaldo to do. I don't know the legality of using an impersonator and playing it off like it's the real guy to promote your your shitcoin. I, I don't know how that's legal. Probably isn't, but it's a bold move regardless. So they had him here, and they try and play it straight like this is Ronaldo. And you have to keep in mind, Speed's audience, most of them lean on the very young side, so they might not know that. So they'll see this is Ronaldo, they'll see Speed freaking out doing his patented yelling and screaming and breaking things, and they'll be like, oh my god. Ronaldo is saying, buy Paradox Crypto. Dad, Dad, we, we need to get your credit card, quick. S Ronaldo and Speed are saying this is the next thing to the moon, quick. So it, it's a, it was a huge disaster.
a buy Paradox Crypto Coin t-shirt. And it quickly got worse. The live chat started calling Paradox Coin a scam in the middle of this sponsored stream and called ISO Speed a sellout, which caused him to get very angry. You sold out. They're using you speed. This is just bad. Aww. That is crazy, bro. Like, them comments like that, bro. It's making me like, that's crazy, bro. The fact I ever made, the like, the fact that y'all, like, like, y'all just sticking me like that. It's just crazy. I hate that, bro. Y'all so weird, bro. It's crazy. He also tried to guilt trip the fans because there was a lot of donos coming through like that. That were like, this is a scam speed. You have to know this is a scam. And be like, why, why are you guys saying that? You're hurting my feelings. The fact you think of me like that makes me really upset. And you know I would never do that to you guys. It's just, you're making me really sad right now. Just guilt tripping them. He's like, I just want to see W's in the chat. No more L's. No more of that. Just W's in the chat. Only mods. Only W's. It was, f it was fucking embarrassing. Shameless. Now, yeah, it is important to remember, Speed himself is a kid. He is 17. And people keep using that as an excuse. And I think to some level, that's fine. Because he should have people around him that are able to sniff out scams like this. But Speed also clearly knew what he was doing. The audio in here that leaked because he didn't mute all of the mics so it got picked up. Pretty much confirms that he knew this was kind of shady shit to begin with. He is not 19. He says he's 19. He is 17. He was born in 2005. He is a minor. He is a kid. It is a meme that he says he's 19. We double checked last night. He is born in 2005. He's 17. But his team around him is clearly not actually looking out for him for allowing him to do shit like this and be used. Oh, it's crazy when people think of me as a sellout, as I literally sell out. Now, to be honest, I don't watch much of iShow Speed's content. I know he's a popular streamer. And from what I understand, he's followed primarily by a bunch of teenagers who think comedy is... <laughs> now, we know comedy is subjective, but I do think one thing is objectively hilarious. And that is the fact that all these teenagers and kids called this guy out. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. The target of most crypto scams is gullible people. And who's more gullible than kids and teenagers? So when those people see right through your skin- You know who's more gullible than kids and teenagers? Is adults who think they're early. I would wager the most gullible people on the planet are like the mid-20s people on the cusp of what they think is new technology or anything that will make them money. I think those are the most gullible people. You see that all the time from the crypto community. Hey, can someone recover my NFTs? I clicked on a link in my emails talking about minting new uh, boof tokens. And now all of a sudden my whole NFT collection's gone. I think I got fished. Any help? Like, you never hear the end of that shit. I think they are much more gullible than kids. 100%. Scam. Thanks the resub, <laughs> bro. Tasty Hess and Maine. And it got so bad that Speed oh. had to mute himself Sandbox to try to figure survived. out how to sell the happened? situation. The only problem is he forgot to fully mute the mic. So what do I do now? Oh, they're skipping. They're spinning. Yeah. Now, before we get to the rest of this audio of Speed exposing the scam. Let's talk about Paradox Coin, the thing he's promoting. How do we know this is a scam anyways? Well, I checked out their website to learn more, where they call themselves the future of gaming. To answer that question, how do we know this is a scam in the first place? I think every crypto project should be guilty until proven innocent. If any crypto startup comes around, you should assume it's a scam until they prove otherwise. That is the safest way of navigating the crypto space. 100 fucking percent. But the one thing I really took away from Paradox is that they're not one thing. The Paradox Metaverse is actually seven things, each one possibly dumber than the last. And I'm going to explain them. So first up is the Paradox game, which has yes. out of the PS2 era, which made me wonder why they'd be giving away PS5 and yeah. trying to make your games look worse by comparison. But it gets even crazier because I spoke to the founders and they called their game triple A quality. And I took issue with It's that. pretty close. It is, actually, this is up there with, like, the new Saints Row, Crackdown 3, maybe? Like, it's not far off. 
Also, from what I was reading, they used a lot of stock assets. So from and I don't know this for sure because I'm not familiar with all the stock assets available. But that would mean that they're not even like actually building it ground up or anything like that, or even trying. They're just asset flipping, like the shit we play on Steam Bad Game Night. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that though. I was just reading about it. Comparison, but it gets even crazier because I spoke to the founders and they called their game Triple A quality. Like sub and I took issue with that. We but have worked day and night for the last year to make this as you probably know you've probably done your research it takes two years on average to make a triple a game right yes yes or no on average anyone that does a bit of research in triple a games they know it roughly takes between two and three years for a triple a game as far as we are concerned and frankly i have to take serious issue with your claim that this is a triple a game yeah this looks like a basic game you designed in unreal engine i'm sure you have developers behind it but you admit, you, you have wait, to wait, 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 you in your understand. own marketing, Compared you describe yourself, wait a second, okay. you describe yourself <laughs> as an indie okay, game. Uh, you describe yourself as an indie game, and if you have the audacity to come on my stream and call yourself a AAA game, when you describe yourself as an indie game. No, no, I don't want to interrupt you, but just give me- <laughs> You are interrupting me, of course you are. You, you don't call point. yourself an indie game. <laughs> That shit got dank quick. Yeah, that's that's a lot of what happened in the live stream. They just immediately just start flooding like an Xbox Live party chat. Whenever he's trying to like call out something, they immediately just flood. So much. It's like a wall of noise. Game on your YouTube channel and then have the audacity to come on my channel and call yourself AAA. Yes, we are a self funded indie studio, a UK based indie gaming studio. Indie studio. So yeah, I'm not buying this triple A. Comments are turned off on that video, by the way. Nothing shows confidence in a project quite like turning off the feedback on the announcement in the trailer. A game story because not even they believe it. And even for an indie game studio, uh, things seem unfinished. I mean, in one of their gameplay trailers, I found like the starter weapons HUD in Unreal Engine in their game. So how many day and nights did this really take? This isn't just any regular game, of course. Well, you never know. So they sell it's a creative avatars spin on the assets. You to play in game. And if you play in game, it earns you paracoins. Now, follow me here. Uh, to earn these paracoins, you complete missions, which apparently require up to eight hours of gameplay to accomplish. Mm. And once you do that, you have to wait 24 hours before starting another mission. Uh, I guess if you do that full time, they estimate you make five hundred dollars a week based on four hours a day of playing wait i thought god i love that so the whole thing tries to prey on people like pay uh, play to earn is the the term so you play our game and you earn money so like yeah you'll come in you'll you know invest or whatever but you're earning money through playing this game and doing our missions with our paracoins but it's all just worthless nonsense dog shit it's not real playing wait I thought these missions took eight hours to play. Okay, I'm a bit confused, but whatever. Let's press on. They even have an answer for people who don't like grinding themselves. Apparently, if you want, you can rent out your avatar to someone else for Paracoins and mm. passive income. Uh, okay, so now you have Paracoins, right? What are you gonna do with them? Well, you can sell them, but why sell them when you can lock them up and stake them? Forget this, even more Paracoins. If you do this, your paracoins turn into P save, which then you lock up for what a the period. Fuck? Sorry, I'm trying to maintain my uh, composure here. You lock up for a period of 28 to 2,888 days. The longer you lock up your money, the more you earn in a process they call delay and get paid. Sure, what the I guess. Fuck? Now, if you want to understand how this entire staking process works, um, their flowchart is even more confused. Here it is. And instead of explaining it, I'm going to label all of this Ponzi nonsense. This. Oh, let's not write it off too quickly. Let me take a peek here at the uh, the old flowchart. Staking process. Para used for P save. Para distributed. Para used in purchase for the staking protocol. Staking pool. Which goes into the initial stake withdrawing from pool, and getting rewarded with Para coins. And now your stake is complete. Easy. But now staking pool and the funds dip below 50. A conditional mint comes in. And then... What the fuck? 
it's all it's all simple honestly no that like this the tokenomics here make a lot of a lot of sense now i'm glad they spelled it out so succinctly maybe i don't know the right term uh, it seems good to me ponzi nonsense this is a pro tip for you guys out there. If you ever see a flow chart that seems almost impossibly complicated, uh, it's Ponzi nonsense. They're trying to confuse you because if you actually understood how a Ponzi scheme worked, you'd never truly invest. So I know all of this at this point seems stupid, but hey, that's only the first exciting opportunity for you. There's seven more. So if you're not a gamer, they also give you other schemes you can get involved in. For example, there's the Paradox DAO where you can stake PDAO coins to earn up to 10% a year in returns. And if that's not your thing, you can try the Paradox Pad where they promise so many options to 100x multiples if you invest. Okay. Now I asked them if they thought this was marketing a get rich quick scheme. And here's what they said. It's hard for me to be quote, quote, professional when y'all are dodging my questions. If y'all want to answer my questions. We haven't dodged a single question. Ask us the question. Great. Advertising 10x to 100x, is that a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? No. Why? Because it's <laughs> easy. Because it can happen. Okay. It happens okay. every single day of the week in the crypto space. Please get knowledgeable about what happens in the crypto space. This so much of the crypto space is a scam! But the 10x to 100x does happen to the creators. They're the one that make the money, not the normal guy. Whoever's farming P-Save PPs or whatever from Paragon, I'd be shocked if they get a 10x or 100x. Not to skip ahead and spoil things, but here, I want to pull this up. They made a bet here with CoffeeZilla where they said they would change their name to CoffeeZilla if Paradox Meta didn't open to 20 to 30 bucks and it opened to 10 cents. Here. So they didn't even get the full pump and dump. So this is where that bad girl <laughs> kicked off. And here's their bet. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. Okay. <laughs> Our coin launches and it doesn't it do a minimum 20 to 30 or... I will change my name to Coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't even know what your channel is called. What's the channel called? Uh, dip, something like that. I don't know. Coffeezilla, Coffee Coffeezilla. Coffee Coffee Zilla. Coffee Zilla. I will change my name to Coffee Zilla. I'll make this. Unfortunately, he didn't do it. He didn't change his fucking name. I haven't checked today though. Maybe it did hit twenty bucks. Let's take a peek. Let's see. Uh, no, it went down. It's now at nine cents. I can't believe it. What? Man, what? Do people just not see the value? <sighs> Man, I can't believe it didn't go to 20 or $30. Crazy. Criminal, even. Is nobody playing their game at the moment? Uh, it's the goddamn World of Warcraft killer on those battlegrounds. Oh, oh no! Oh, you can't you can't yeah. We got ya! Got ya! We got you, buddy! That's You're a Bitcoin hater! You hate crypto! That's why you don't like us! That's why you call us a what? scam! Because you hate us crypto guys! Repeat what back what I said. Repeat back what I said word for word. I said That's no, going on Twitter! No, 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 no. You, you, you. Look, That's going on Twitter. Yo. I don't know what the gotcha was here. That but most uh, anyways, from here it derailed. And so we're <laughs> going to get back on topic. I don't remember uh, that they part. They also have Paraswap. <laughs> I watched the whole stream and I didn't see that part. Up to 20% on staking rewards. All right. Now, if all of that sounds dumb, you can even get your friends to invest too. With... With Paradox Hey, thanks affiliate. for the 10 gift subs, Slasher. Thank you for that. Oh my gosh. It's so bad. Uh, every person you get gets five pounds. Okay, whoop de do. Now, the last one we're going to cover is Paradox Events. Sorry, I've got to take this seriously. Paradox is a very serious company. We have to all remember that. So Paradox Events is not really a direct scam per se. It's an event company put together by the founders of 
Paradox, you guessed it. They claim they want to sell you YouTube Boxing pay-per-view, which is only available with their little paracoins, right? Which seems very stupid and like it never would work. Only they claim their first fight is Andrew Tate versus Jake Whoa. Paul. Uh, I found this out because their founder told me about it in their Discord. At first, he seemed to be upset about this supposedly being leaked. He says, guys, can we refrain from sending the screenshot that was leaked about the Jake Paul versus Tate fight in February? However, I couldn't find these leaked posts. And a few minutes later, I realized this guy might be spreading his own rumor. <laughs> and this made a lot more sense when the same day he said, I don't care, spread the word of Jake and Andrew. So Galaxy you Brain, leak that's this so big. Supposed fight yourself and then say, oops, I guess it's out there. Let's spread the word, guys. I don't know. It's, just, it's so cringy, man, this whole thing. We cannot confirm. We got the screenshot. No, we cannot confirm. No deny whether or not we are in talks to make it happen on our roster on our card. Now, if we finally do get to make that happen, we make an amazing official announcement to come with it. Um, if there is a screenshot well, of the actual conversation, your, 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 your brother it. and partner you is telling it, everyone to share it. it around. You're telling everyone just like say it's true. I, I don't know why you're within saying that. our community, which within our Nobody's community, share around within our community without other members. We want to give them. So, I, mean, so this I don't know what spread the wor word of Jake and Andrew. Let's get paradox our community. Every you Discord say channel, everywhere. Channel. You say channel. everywhere, though. Yeah, everywhere now, in the community. Brother, it's a big community. It's got to reach every website they list, nook and cranny of it. Amio, and Fossil Tariq, who both seem pretty obscure. I think Amio like, sells a goofy university or something, which just takes 10 seconds of research to realize is a waste of money. This is the only way to get rich in 2022 without starting up a business from scratch. For every person uh. that you refer to Amio Tali University, you get 15 pounds. Now I confronted- God, I hate that so fucking much. That <laughs> it's one of my biggest gripes, those f guru programs. And people, for some reason, buy in and then fight tooth and nail for them. You just train your own little warriors, your own little cult. Ugh. To them about this claim, and here's what they said. Okay. Is an affiliate program wrong? Where a person has commission for sales. No, I think saying that this is the only way you're going to get rich is wrong. People don't get rich on affiliate programs? No, people don't not, make a living. It's not the no. only You say, I found the only way to get rich. But also, no. I would be so curious... If there is anyone that has ever got rich from affiliate programs, I I would be shocked. Like, uh, not, obviously, at the top level, affiliate programs are great for the gurus. They make millions. I'm talking like a normal, just random person. Uh, yes, I am a career affiliate promoter. Uh, I bring people to this goober's university for money. And now I own five Ferraris in this garage. Only way that works, yes. as far as we're concerned, I, I found, found a way. Wait, I so wait, 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 but I that's the thing, because you're selling your crypto bank. now. So you are buying your crypto isn't a way to get rich. <laughs> no, our affiliate oh, program is a, is, a <laughs> is a designed product. <laughs> oh, great. Another affiliate scheme like Tate. Let me guess. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. All right, so we have that in the background. Now, the last guy we need to talk about is a YouTuber named Money Kicks who's involved. Yeah. He's million subscribers, and it seems to me like he's mostly famous for being a billionaire son and doing billionaire son things. Apparently, he has allegedly bought 50% of this disaster for $11 million. Now, I couldn't confirm this myself, but he does seem very affiliated with the project, sitting next to Speed basically during the entire ad. And my favorite moment with Money Kicks is just when he tries to relate to somebody who's explaining how he grew up poor and eventually became rich. We grew up very humble in the sense where my dad was a taxi driver, worked all his life, and alhamdulillah, we started doing a bit of business. <laughs> we've done alhamdulillah, we've done all right. Very yeah, good. Now we're just celebrating life in the sense you know, life is step by step, you know, thank 100%, God. 100%, 100%. Wait, how's Money Kicks talking about life yeah, is step by you step? You don't understand, What was coffee. your step one? Being the son of a billionaire? What? You what don't get it. You just two? don't get like, it. Like at that point. Are you, is he just talking to people like, hey, have you tried step one yet? Now, uh, <laughs> this is the whole crew. Based yeah, he was just, again, born rich. Dad's a billionaire. It, yeah, the video he's showing is this one as well. So Money Kicks posted this right before the speed stream. Oh my god, he took it down. <laughs> okay, unlucky. I Okay, I guess I should have saved it. 
It was spending a day with a crypto billionaire and I show speed. That was the clip that he got it from. But it, yeah, it was it was a rough video. It was a rough. <laughs> basically behind paradox and and i hope i've done a fair job of explaining it obviously the project itself is a bit of a paradox to me i mean it looks like they are kind of putting real money behind this they're investing in all these high profile streamers but it's just all done in such a scammy way why would anyone want a part of this i mean i know i wouldn't want seven ways to join a ponzi scheme so that's just what it sounds like to me um and apparently to a lot of children and teenagers so I think it's probably gonna flop. But now that you understand what Paradox is, it's time to go back to I Show Speed, trying to keep his chat from figuring out what's going on. All right, All right so look, it's cool now. Relax, relax. Yo, no, 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 relax. Uh, why listen to chat? You see no more fucking skin. Trust me. The mic is on. I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to make you. Uh, no, no, bro. You know what I'm doing, bro. Oof. Uh, I'm not gonna say it, but then it's gonna be obvious, bro. Yeah, I think it's a little too late for that. The only way to make this more obvious is if he changed his name to I Show Scams. Now, I do have an update James here because the Prime Speed boy. has responded Steve. saying he's not a scammer and regrets his mistake. Stop spamming. I'm not a scammer, bro. Why do you keep spamming? I'm not a scammer, dog. I made a little mistake, you know, that I wish I never did, but I'm not a scammer, bro. Now, what exactly you make of this is up to you. I think he's pretty young, like 17 years old. I think hopefully he's going to learn from this and is going to learn that you don't have to sell out your audience for money. Um, as for the Paradox founders, I think they're still baffled that anyone's mad at them at all because they think there's no reason to apologize at all. Mm. According to them, the claims of L scam in this chat were bots. Bots anyway. Yes. That's what you call bots. That's what you call bots. A human can bot. A computer can bot. A bot can bot. Can bot. Wait, can wait, bot. wait. wait. So y'all are saying humans can bot now? So yeah, this whole thing went on for hours and uh, I'll link the full VOD below confronting them. If you're bored, you can give it a watch. It's pretty funny. Anyways, that's basically it. God, it's it was such a wild situation, man. Like I said, I got to watch a lot of that in real time as it unfolded. It was something special. Now, at the very least, Speed apologized in the very next stream and looks like he cut ties with everything. So, this was pre-sale. They didn't go live on that day, I don't think. I think they went live yesterday. So, hopefully, no one in his audience lost any money on it. But what an absolutely reputational nuke he took there. Fucking bit a fat L, unfortunately. No one decided to do any level of thinking about that partnership there. But yeah, this Ronaldo impersonator moment was so special. It was so fucking good. Oh, did he not show the? Oh, I thought I, sh I thought he showed the clip when he came in. Whatever. Well, they bring in the Ronaldo impersonator, play it off like the real Ronaldo. So they hyped it up for a long time. They're like, if we get enough paradox metaverse to the moon in the chat. We'll bring out something special. Go follow the Twitter. Go follow the Twitter. Here's the Twitter. Go follow it. And they got 2,000 followers. They're like, oh, fuck. That just unlocked it. Turn around, Speed. Close your eyes. We got a special surprise for you. Guess in the chat who it's going to be. And then Paradox Metaverse to the Moon. And they bring out fake Ronaldo. They bring out Chris Orlando here. And they all play it off like it's the real Ronaldo. And almost immediately in the chat, people are like, what the fuck? That's not Ronaldo. But they kept trying to, like, really drive it home. Like, this is Ronaldo, and he loves Paradox Crypto. Which is very shady. Like, if they made it more on the nose, like, this is a fake Ronaldo and it's a skit, this is a joke. It wouldn't have been, like, tasteless or bad. But they really tried to make it seem authentic, like it's the real deal. And I already know, with his audience being young for the most part, a lot of them truly believed Ronaldo was a Paradox enthusiast. Which I think is rough. They they just they just got fucked up. It was quite an obvious joke. Not to everybody though. 
If you, in fact, if you go on Twitter right now, Speed posted a picture with the impersonator. There are still so many of his fans that think he met the real Ronaldo and they were reflecting on this stream and like, it was great to see Ronaldo socialize with you like that and he knows who you are because he did one of Speed's things. Like, holy shit, Ronaldo actually knows who you are. So there are a lot of them that really believed it was the real deal. They were trolling. You like to think that, but I, I just don't believe it. You have to remember, a lot of his audience is kids as well. Didn't they also fool speed? No, I, I, that, that I don't believe at all. A hundred percent, I don't believe speed truly thought that was Ronaldo or anything. This was all a very much pre-established circuit here. Was it actually meant as a joke, though? That I don't know. Because they really do go out of their way to sell it as real. Like, they did everything they could to make it seem like, that's him. That's him. Why did he destroy the PS5s? He thought it'd be comedic? I don't know. Uh, that that was bad. Like, even before all the crypto shit started, they led with the PS5 stuff and he was breaking it and immediately turned chat against him. I don't know why you'd ever do that. I hate that shit. That was a trend back in, like, 2009 or whatever, whenever the PS3 came out. Going to GameStop, midnight release for PS3 and breaking it. And it was always so fucking douchey. And it is still douchey to this day. Nope, the boxes weren't empty. He takes the full PS5 out and hits it with a sledgehammer. He did that for two of them. Maybe more. I I think it was two or three. Two for sure, I remember. But it might have been more. Why? I Again, I don't know, man. I, he, they must have thought that it was a good joke. I don't watch a ton of speed streams, I'll be the first to admit. I am familiar with him to some level. But it's just not my cup of tea. I'm not, I'm sure most of you know, I'm not really big into the, like, the really loud equals entertaining stuff. And that's mainly his brand. So it's just not for me. So I don't know what the breaking PS5s was for. Maybe because it makes a loud noise or it's destructive, shocking. I don't know. Is there some punk in grid and baby? The fake Ronaldo came out on TikTok and said they specifically asked him not to say a word or they wouldn't pay him. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, hold on. Let me pull up a clip. I actually believe that. Because I thought for a little bit he just didn't speak English because of this moment right here. I watched this happen live. Let me, hold on, I also saw that clip got posted to LSF, let me pull it up real quick. It is such a great moment. This is an iconic moment in, in scamming. Where is it? Oh, come on, where'd it go? It was on LSF like two days ago. Just give me a second. <clears throat> Holy shit. How many worthless clips make it onto LSF? What the fuck? Like these titles are just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god! How far do I have to scroll? It's only been two days! Thanks to the Prime Math Man, Spicy, and Venus, Caboose, and Booty Ass. Okay, 
let me try searching for it then this is I clearly underestimated how many clips get posted here every day is this it oh my god the clip is deleted what the fuck Okay, hold on. Let me just go to the actual stream itself and see if I can this find it. This is the streamer I sh <sighs> What channel do his streams end up on? And here we go. Yo, 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 yo! Who is this guy? Who is this two? I'm real. What is going on? Audio in one ear? Let's Yo, see if I'm someone a, is from the I'm not gonna lie, I might just plug in my mic real quick. Here, keep playing a little slow. But look, y'all. We got my man Twitch side here, you feel what I'm saying, bro? What is going on with the everything is out of sync? Yo, 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 yo! What the fuck is going on? Is this on everyone or is this just is this just me? Is this upload super fucked? Like, what the fuck is going on? This oh, that's right, because he edited it. Ah, oh, because he took out the leaks. Fuck. That might do it. You're right. That's right. Oh, true. That might have fucked the whole thing up. I really want to find the clip. There's a, a moment there where Speed tries to, like, say something to Ronaldo. Uh, <laughs> Rolando. And he just looks at him and he's just sitting there with a smile and then he just starts licking his lips. He's like, mm. and says nothing. So I absolutely believe your claim that he was instructed not to speak because that shit was so uncomfortable. And I really want to find that fucking clip right now because it is a great clip. So give me a couple more seconds to see if I can maybe find something from it, maybe a re upload. I don't, I don't know where you find YouTube clip re-uploads, man. What the fuck? This is so frustrating. Unless I've put some mirror in the top comments. <clears throat> they didn't for that one. Let me check again. There's the prime cow and the resub Zyphony in random. Yeah, I don't see a mirror here. I'm still scrolling down and don't see a mirror. This shit, damn. Let me see. Is that it? God, I, I wish I didn't fucking open that. This isn't the part I was talking about. But yeah, this is pretty standard shit. That's, this isn't what I was talking about. Oh, I didn't even wait. I don't even remember them addressing that in the stream. Who are you? Chat, who is this guy? Hype. Cool clip. Not the one I was talking about. It was.
was later. <clears throat> he licks his lips though. I'm guessing he does it a lot. I I must have misremembered a lot then, because I don't even remember them confronting him about who is this guy. Maybe I focused too much on all of the awkward shit and blacked out the other stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I don't I don't even remember this part happening. And like I said, I got to tune into a lot of this in real time. There's a prime kitten. There's the resub muffin. And the resub fuzzy and Abby in phony. Yep, that's that whole situation. Pretty wacky stuff. <laughs> He's a prime, Jamie. I saw this fake Ronaldo in a slip and slide football video. Yeah, he's been in a lot. Like I said, he made a whole career out of looking like Ronaldo. True Jordy just made the worst apology video in history. People still talking about that? It was it was something special. I didn't watch all of it. But uh oh, he made another one. I didn't watch all of it, but this shit went off the rails. It is bad. But it's not entertainingly bad. I just got really sad listening to it. The fact that he somehow did this and posted it and had someone there to also be okay with it blew my mind. It is bad. What did he do? So the whole thing started with, uh, like, what was it? I think he was making, like, he made a Islamophobic joke or something. I actually don't remember what even started it. But he got backlash for it, so he made this as a response. But then in his own response, he comes out looking much, much worse. Like, it just goes so off the rails. And then he starts crying about, like, what was it, his mom? And then he was talking about needing a girlfriend. Like, it, it just got so weird. Thanks to the resub Zay and Exo and the Prime Pig and Jamie. I haven't watched it. It's not, like, entertaining, though. It's just... It's kind of boring, but... Like... <laughs> boring is not even the right word. Because it is unhinged. Like, there is actual unhinged moments, so it's not boring. I just don't think it's, like, interesting enough to watch. I've already seen it, and I don't want to watch it again. Watch the new one. I will. I'll check out the new one. I haven't seen this. Sure, we'll do that. Hey guys, of uh, why is the everything so loud? The last fuck. few days to Jesus. just come to terms with how much my words have upset people. The first step was to just listen to all of you, uh, all the tweets, the comments, the messages, my friends, and just to communicate with as many people as I could who were affected by my comments on the live stream. It's massively important to me to hear your point of view on what I said. I wanna take as much of it as, as I can in and digest that and improve. <clears throat> I wanna do better. I know for some of you out there, I'm a role model and I wanna try to set the best example I possibly can for you lot. I know I was wrong and I wanna stand up, not hide away and I want you to see that I'm truly sorry for what I said 
and it is not acceptable. So after hearing you and taking some time away from the camera, I want to make... Some- <laughs> it took four days. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> A lot of... <sighs> like TikTok and YouTubers are like, I took an extended leave of absence and I've become a changed person. Bro, it's been four days. Four days, man. Seven days now since this video, but four days since your last apology, where you also asked everyone to like and subscribe at the end. Some positive changes to myself, and I never want anyone to be caused any harm watching my shows. So here's what I promise to do. I want to continue to speak to my friends, uh, creators, uh, members of the Muslim community on and off camera to understand how my comments hurt them and how similar comments have hurt them in the past, to learn from that and to try and be better. After broadening my perspective and hearing from leaders in the community, I want to better understand how words can cause harm and then change how I conduct myself. And I want you to know that any of you who ever see me out and about in London, you can approach me. Anyone can approach me. I want to reach out to the people I know I've heard personally uh, away from social media. Exit Prime. And understand their point of view. Half and the recent Oscar and, and Gray. Where, I, where it's possible, build bridges with them. I know this might not be possible for some of those people that I've hurt and to those people, I just want to say, I'm truly, truly sorry. <clears throat> I want to have an open and honest dialogue with you lot here. I want to hear your thoughts and your feelings. I want my channel to be inclusive to everyone. I want to use these videos to speak to as many of you as I can and show that I've listened and I understand your pain. And hopefully we can build some positive conversations from this. I have to work on myself. I have to be. This just feels so desperate. So I, full disclosure, it's already been over a week. So this this has already gone one ear out the other. I've, I've already forgotten exactly what he said. But he said some shit. It was bad. He made a really bad apology. That's what I mainly remember. Because it went real off the rails and unhinged. Uh, and I know Jordy lost a lot of sponsors from that shit. I, not only the, the comment that got him into the hot water in the first place, but I know the apology was also a terrible follow-up that I know made it worse. So we lost a lot of sponsors. I don't remember who all he lost, but it was quite a few. So it feels like this was coming in here desperate to be like, saving face, please sponsors, come back. Like, bro, the second you're like, I'm talking to every single person that could have ever possibly been offended or hurt by what I said... Like, it just feels insincere. You're telling me you are going out of your way somehow to talk to any of your 1.9 million subscribers that felt to type away about what you said in order to understand their perspective, improve, and have a conversation with them? No shot. Just say, look, my first apology was bad. It wasn't good. And I, I, I recognize that now, and I recognize my statements from before are horrible. And it's not indicative of how I actually feel, and I feel great remorse now. I'm embarrassed of the, the person I was four days ago. Like, just be sincere. This comes across dishonest. I know you're not doing all of this. Everyone knows there's no shot. Like, there's just no reason for that. There's the reason of hat box, butts, and emo in Big X. That's if he's actually sorry. Yeah, he might be, he may not be. I'm not knowledgeable enough on Jordy to know for sure. It's just the things he's saying here, I know. There is no shot he is going to do. It is an unreasonable thing to even expect someone to do. What he's saying can't be done at his size. To somehow communicate to everyone that he feels could have been offended in order to have a conversation with them learn from what he said and how it affected them and grow from it, that's fucking impossible. Just make a Discord with all of them there. <laughs> you can start it. Fuck. 
He could start a Discord server for everyone that was hurt by his statements in there. You can directly communicate with them as like a hotline. Like it's just, I, I don't know why it's so hard for people to understand like being sincere is the most important part. And none of it comes across as sincere when you're saying shit like that. He's the bits maiden. Did you see Sneeko responding to you in the fresh and fit video? No, I can't say I did. Like I said, I don't really keep up with Sneeko, and I didn't even when he like rose to fame recently. Ever since he defended cuties, I kind of wrote off everything he was talking about like forever. Though that clip of him floating around defending cuckoldry and how like he thinks everyone should embrace being cucked at least once is pretty entertaining. Links to the Prime Kava and the Bits Tori. He did what? Yeah, when I made that video talking about cuties, he made a response to me saying that I blew it out of proportion and I was just being stupid. Cuties is actually a good movie, even though it's just actual child porn. So, when he did that, I pretty much wrote him off. Gotta pull it up now. I can't. His channel's gone. Maybe it's on archive, though. Here. I'm, I'm also sure he wouldn't hide that. If you asked him his opinion on cuties, I'm sure he'd give it to you. He said he made a whole video about it. He's the resub guppy and grim. Fuck, I haven't used archive.org in a while. How do you go on the Wayback Machine to go to a specific time period on someone's channel? Actually, let me just search for re-uploads first. Oh, no, it's right here. Yeah, this is the one. But yeah, he he got mad at me for insulting cuties. Okay, if I ever wanted to get cancelled, uh, this is the video. I... So he didn't like my take on cuties and he defends the film. And I was like, yeah, that's a weird thing to be defending. It's just like child porn. So I, I didn't really pay too much attention from him from there. Hey guys, I've uh, taken the... Why was he defending it? He liked the movie. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Are you going to make a moist meter on the new Pokemon game? No. I will be playing it, but I'm not going to moist meter it. Thanks to the bits grid. The resub serious. <clears throat> what the fuck, why not? Because it's going to take me a long time to beat it. I'm just going to enjoy it at my own pace. God of War Ragnarok is the longest time I've gone between release and moist meter ever, I think. So, uh, I'm not going to make a habit out of that. Things of the resub wire. I mean, if the game's short and I somehow get through it quickly, I'll make a moist meter, sure. I'm not, like, opposed to it. I'm just expecting I won't. I'm expecting it to be a lot. And it'll take me a while. But I guess we'll see. I'm gonna pee, fill up my water, and we'll start it. So give me one sec, I'll be right back. Thanks, Arisa, Bonesy, and Moody. <coughs>
I'm back. Thanks for your sub Omnicrest, Billy, Shadow, and the Prime Isabella. Let's fire this bad boy up. Man, I hate how quirky the switch is. It puts everything upside down. So now I have to fucking spin my HDMI. Uh, such a little nitpicky nuisance. I just wish everything was standard. Thanks for the resub. Hex, Sloppy, and Paf, and Napalm. Alright, let's ride. Thanks for tier one e-girl in the prime zin. <coughs> Thank you for the 10 gift subs, Majora. Thank you for the generosity. Appreciate the big drop. Mm. Audio scuffed. Okay. I guess I should really just do this at the end of every stream that I use the uh, Elgato for to fix it. <clears throat> My name is Charles. Oh my god, they have space buns in here? Oh, this is gonna have a whole Animal Crossing situation all over again. That was a fucking massive explosion of drama with the space buns in Animal Crossing. Jesus Christ, Nintendo. Opening Pandora's box once more. Do they not have any... Just, here we go. That'll work. Oh, wait, I forgot the style. Or the color. That looks good. I'm sure they don't have beards in Pokemon. At least not for the kids. <coughs> Thanks to the resub, lad. The bits, butt nuts. They have voice acting in this game? Stupid question, I knew the answer is gonna be no. It would be cool if they did, though. These are two gift subs, butt nuts.
Things are resub sagacious in Omega. Thanks for the resub. Bo. Or er, Boar. Oh, Baratheon. Yep, new Pokemon game. Whew. Let's read some fishing. I can't wait. Oh. I'm chosen by a prophecy, I imagine. Thanks, Risa, Doctor, and Les, and Mommy. If it's Johnny. Here's the Prime Ghostfire. Why is she calling it a cuppa? Alright, so my family's British. Now the adventure begins.
There's a prime scream, the resub technician. <clears throat> Is he gonna give me a Pokemon? Oh my god, director. Things the resub gauge. Yeah, I already made up my mind. This one's pretty obvious, honestly. <coughs> oh man, that thing in the middle is... Making me feel bad because I'm absolutely not choosing him. Rough. It is an easy task, I already know which one I'm choosing. I already know which one I'm choosing. Stop trying to, stop trying to convince me otherwise. I'm not changing my mind. Come here, Quaxley, you goofy little nerd. Let's ride. Oh, what? I can't just like pick you up. Okay. There's the prime fox in Mac. In Fishy or Ashy. Thanks to tier one Slade.
Thanks to t the uh, resub chummin in music. Yep, that's me. Why? <laughs> like I can say no to her. Oh, that feels so rude. Lee, welcome aboard, bud. You don't even know me. What do you mean? I wish they went back to making your rival, like, hate you. I can already tell this is gonna be our rival. Well, I guess they never made them hate you, to be fair. They just weren't so... bubbly. They hated you? Uh, I don't think Gary ever really hated you. Are you stupid? <laughs> so she... She chooses the type weakness? Oh my god. You're my rival? We haven't even really got to know our Pokemon, now we're forcing them to fight and hurt each other. Oh, it's, it's so bad for morale.
Things are resub worthwhile. The tier one preacher. The resub aid. If you knew that, why'd you choose the fire Pokemon to go against me? Throwing for content? Interesting. How do you feel about the 2 FPS? I mean, it's running at like the normal Switch 20 right now. It's not 2. That's just the Switch though, baby. Sub Carlito. Things of Prime, Elephant, and Resub, Adventure Time. Resub Uchua. Oh, I didn't remember that Uchua. acting that'd be such a simple thing they could add to like prove that you actually put money into these games and make like some improvements like basic quality of life shit like you could absolutely afford voice acting and don't even give me the tradition bullshit like just why not do it it is the most profitable franchise media franchise ever why not also hold on i think i just heard tiana go to bed so i'm gonna go say goodnight real quick i'll be right back give me two seconds thanks to the resub ape and booty and the boys be right back sorry
I'm back. Uh, thanks for resub crunch. Thanks for the resub blaze and the prime toes. Resub Trev. He said Ronan, Ronan, Fluffy, and Lucas. There's a resub, Ethab, the resub Titan. Slow down, I'm coming. Said Paradox. It's a uh, violet. Oh, holy shit. It's a Le Chonk. Don't be afraid, Quaxley. I'm right here. Take this. Good hit. Oh. All right, use this. Oh. oh wait, I can just use it from here. You're mine, Lechonk. It's a 
mocking ball of fuzz? <coughs> what the fuck did I just do? I murdered it. Oh, this... <coughs> I know this game has auto-battling. I think I accidentally did that. Things are a bit icy. The recent fluffy. What does this thing evolve into? Is this worth catching? Nah, I'm not gonna bother. Evolves into jump pluff? Nah, I'm not gonna bother. <coughs> How did I auto battle? Another Lechonk! Oh. Nice. I'm gonna catch this thing. It's a little onion. Whoa! Hey, what does this evolve into? Is it worth? Is it resub Apollo in the prime buck? Uh. This is new. Oh, welcome to the team, then. Play competitive Pokemon? Are you insane? No, I didn't want to give a nickname. Oh fuck! Oh god! No 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 no! Get me out! Oh Jesus! There's something flying above me. Oh. Damn, I missed the auto battle. Things are prime overdose. Ah. Ah. Nice way to beat the fuck out of it. Another one! Nice. That's right, keep beating their shit in. What's that? Is that new? Not new? Alright, beat it. Nice. I wonder how much health Quaxley- Oh wait, this thing's new. Alright, let's not one-shot it. <coughs> okay. That's probably good enough.
Another one of you. Okay, Quaxley has got to be really low on health by now. Uh oh. Oh, I thought it was a battle. Thanks to the prime milk and the resub C. Subject. I found it. What? All right. Huge. I'm coming to help. I'll give it a sandwich. This is my mom's sandwich. <clears throat> now you can only have half though, because I'm hungry too. Oh, you bitch. You gluttonous whore. Prime Bree and Resub Chris. Thanks for the five gift subs, Fiend. Thanks for that, man. Okay. Just straight up looks like a dick, huh? I don't know where you get that idea from. Looks nothing like a wiener.
I'm coming. Oh, what is this Pokemon called again? I feel like I recognize it. Young Goose. Huh. Missed it. Missed what? The one right here? Why? What's special about this one? It's not a shiny or anything, right? It's got white eyes. Is it a spirit? Oh, you're talking about the Hound Doom up there? I don't think I can get there, can I? Or can I throw a Pokeball from here at it? Oh, fuck. No, don't do it, Quaxley! Oh no. Do something, Quaxley. Oh shit, right, I'm low on health. It's level 40, what the fuck? Go out like a hero, Quaxley. No. Some stretch gazer in the prime morrow.
tipo... <clears throat> Needs another sandwich, clearly. Thanks for you some vamp and Jonah. A motorcycle Pokemon, a transport vehicle Pokemon. Quaxley's a little low. Oh, nope, full health actually. Didn't realize I'd do that. Ah! Just made me sleepy. Give me the odds. That was your only Pokemon? Cool.
He's the prime lover and the resub weeb. Why are you, like, I don't even know why you're giving this to me. There's the prime wind in Best Buy. And the resub rotten. Look at those mountains! <laughs> Whoa! I see a little gas station over there. I see you hiding in there, lurking. Up to no good, huh, Junior? Oh my god, pathetic. Pathetic. Sickening. That's what this thing is, right? Isn't this actually good? I don't know if I want it though. I already have a water Pokemon. Hmm. I'll grab it, whatever. I'm already here. Sub Orgina and the Prime Jolly and the Sub Gish and Ghoul.
Nice. Some side duck. I forgot what that thing's called. Where's Prime Fearless? Oh, this thing turns into a. Uh... Fuck. That Pokemon people think is worth. God, what it. The Pokemon that people want to fuck? Gardevoir, thank you. Oh, I actually did a ton of damage. Don't do that again. It's male Ralt, so no Gardevoir. Gallade. Man, not even a fuckable Pokemon. Shame. I don't know what that little thing is. Is this new? What is this thing? This little this little guy. The whooper is new. <coughs> oh yeah. They changed it. Iggy Puff. Yeah. Thanks to the resub static. And the prime trash can resub Shadosis and Andromeda. doing that. So this is new. Okay. I'll catch it. Uh, 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 uh. 
Way to hang in there, Quaxley. Way to tough it out. Why do you care if it's new if you can't even tell? Mm -mm. What a lovely town. I'm just gonna go to school. Okay. <clears throat> a trainer! Can I auto battle with trainer? No, it doesn't look like it. Some Nate in Red Run. What does work up do again? It's just a boost, and then this one's lowering. We're just gonna do wing attack for this. We don't need Grell. You again! How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, champ? Jimmy, you lose some far quad.
Oh. One more, huh? I see him. My last victim. Good snipe. Things are some snow. Yeah, the game is making me really sleepy. I mean, it's a Pokemon game. I knew it'd have a slow start. But goddamn. So it was cool. Alright, time to continue on the path. <coughs> Doing Nuzlocke will wake you up. Yeah. Quaxley, give it the business again. Oh yeah. Thanks, Risa Blacasa. Sage. I don't know what Pommy does, I don't remember. Is it electric? I think it was the electric one I caught earlier. Yeah, I think so. She gave it a light bulb! Fuck! This is gonna be bad! Ah, oh, Quaxley! I have a good feeling about Quaxley, he's gonna dodge the next attack. You stay in there, big guy. Missed. No, Quaxley! Alright, take him to the cleaners, Lechonk. Disarming voice. Let's tackle him. Holy shit, that actually almost one-shot him. 
What type of Pokemon is Lechonk? I didn't even bother looking. He's just the normal pig type? Cool. Thank you the bits. Oh, Jesus. Thank you the bits, Sage. Sorry I missed the first 5k. God damn. Thank you, Bad Sage. Thanks <laughs> to Tier 1 Keto. Tutorial is about two hours, by the way. Yeah, it sounds about par for the course. Thanks to Prime Rodriguez. And the Prime Hell Jumper. I don't need it. Voice crack. I don't need anything for my Pokemon to hold. Here's the prime whoop. What was that? Holy shit, do you see them over there by the balloons? I can control what dimension they exist in. Interesting. They aggressively pop in. Classmates, great to see you. Oh, not classmates. Officers, great to see you. Thanks the resub, Bouncy Man, the Prime, Trevor, and Matt, the Bits Hunter.
Whoa! Holy shit, it's a shrewdle! Hey, Quaxley's alive. Welcome back, baby. Uh, hit it with this, I don't know. Oh, god damn! Split him in half. Frames drop anytime something happens. What do you want from me? I didn't make the game. That's the Game Freak special. I thought that the other guy was going to battle me too. Terra Orb! I can crystallize! Yes! Hey, thanks to 10 gift subs. Angry, and the resub Bizarro, and Ron. Thank you for that, Angry. Time to terastalize. Oh. Terastalize! Water gun! Fuck yeah. Biting into ice cubes, you fool! Finish him off, Quaxley! <coughs> Let's go! Take that, Team Star! Put that in your pipe and smoke it! Get off my campus, you cuck! What do you want? Bye bye.
worst staircase in the world? I think not. Here I come. It's time for school! Yes, sir! Look at all my happy classmates. Ah, uh, yes. It does the heart good to see so much eager youth ready for adventure. And so excited to learn. Oh, that man's busting it wide open. Thanks, the reset beautiful. Whoa, what the fuck is happening with everyone's legs? What is going on? Are they animatronic? That is haunting. Though, to be fair, to the game's credit, this is more than I've seen of anything on screen so far. This is the most shit on screen at any one time so far, so it's struggling a bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna go fill up my water though, you guys can enjoy the seed. I'll be right back.
come back. <sighs> They're all there except for one Kate, and yeah, it will. <coughs> Thanks for your suggestion. <laughs> Moist Esports playing right now. What time did the tournament start? <laughs> they are playing right now. <clears throat> Oof. Rough first two games. Yikes. <clears throat> Thanks, are you sub Ethan? Alright, I got it pulled up. <coughs> I'll keep my eye on it. Okay, that's right. Why are you calling me a little friend? So we got a new friend joining us, no need to say little. And at least I'm not a fucking robot like every other kid in here. God, this is haunting. What the fuck? How? Like, how? I don't even get how something could look like this in I want to be a strong trainer. Why why are we so close all of a sudden just cuz we're fucking neighbors? Math class is available and a battle class is available. I won't do either one. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Thanks for some butters and reckon from Ethan and Notch.
Ooh, ooh. So I need to get you sandwich ingredients. Very cool. I can do that. Let's go. Need a tier one Todd Howard in the resub tolerable. He's a prime Jonathan. That's going to be the girl from out front. Use a base. <coughs> Eggs to the bits, douche. A princess, or yep, princess.
All right, and then I'll become champion rank. Nice. He's a bit sneaky. You're asking the wrong guy, Nikki. I don't really have any tips, just gotta practice. What's up, director? <clears throat> I've been here for like 15 minutes, bro. <laughs> like, I haven't had the full experience. But yeah, this place is lit. It's so good. This shit is fire, clavel. Lovely to meet you as well. <laughs> Just watching I was just watching the last fight for uh, Apex here I didn't see where we got knocked out because I was reading that Moist Esports is in an Apex tournament at the moment uh, fourth fuck unlucky that's all right still two games to go
Bye, Professor. Nice. Oh, fuck. quick Jesus Christ just let me go do shit fuck me oh my god this doesn't end
I think it's tier one, Carlos. What is happening up there? I didn't know that. Arvin! Got him. I'll go to the fire crew first and fuck him up with Quaxley. the prime name was taken. The resub, your boy Blue.
Let's go! Freedom! Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't I don't think this game was quite ready for jumping mechanics. Yikes. This this it starts hitting like five or six frames. Let's go. Oh, hey, wait, this is me. This is what everyone keeps floating around on Twitter, isn't it? Oh, he gave me pickles, eggs, and ketchup. It's so cute. So sweeter than to include me in the game. Alright, I want to do that fire gym or a uh, fire team star. <coughs> Where was it? I think it was over here, right? <coughs> it was her, I think. Oh, fuck. It's this one for sure, right? I don't how do I expand it to get like the full intel? You can't? I thought you could do whatever you want. Oh wait, you're right, I'm looking the wrong way. It rotated my map. So it's over here. There it is. <clears throat> what is happening? What is- what the fuck was that? Oh. It's a mechanic. Is there a poke? Who am I fighting? Am I fighting the trainer itself? Is there a Pokemon there? Is it an invisible type? Oh! Oh! It's that little... What? Is that flying speck? What the fuck is that goofy thing? What? I'll hit it with a water gun even though I'm sure it's a fish. Don't give up, Quaxley. Just keep beating its ass. Uh, 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 uh. I'm 
Makes the prime blue. Gonna switch the Pokemon order. Let's uh, let's give Weasel some reps. Oh, thank you for the 25 gift subs, Tim. Thank you for the generosity, man. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for resub step step sis. Or no, sit Sin Simmons. Oh my god, what the fuck? All I have is tackle with this. Yikes. Fucking yikes. Well, I'll just keep headbutting him, I guess. And then I'll catch him. Don't let him intimidate you. You're fine. Oh, fuck. It's getting scary. Don't let him scare you. Damn. This is quite the fight. Oh, fuck. Oh, the double slap. Should be enough. Ah! Oof! Way to hang in there, Buizel. I'll catch him now. That should be enough. Nice. Keep these two. I'm just gonna get Buizel out. <laughs> I don't really need him. Let's get this guy in the mix. these little cats these guys were good they're solid uh, electric I'll grab you while I'm here is it prime Caribidus oh I forgot this thing's fucking electric too we'll just we'll just trade back and forth pretty low level let's see do I get away with it cool I wonder if I just beeline it right to one of these bosses 
with my type advantage? Can I just sweep? That'd be kind of nuts. But it's Pokemon. I, I bet it will absolutely just let me sweep that easily. We're gonna try it. <laughs> What kind of Pokemon is this? Oh, fairy. Okay, let's go. Should be fine. No, not like this. Can't you see I am busy? Crab. Things that reset don't like sand. Whoa, what's this? are back. There's a prime zoo zooyo. The bits pooper. And the resub microwave. You're offline? How am I offline? Oh, you're right, top right. Why am I offline? How do I go online? How do I... Oh. The internet, eh? That's interesting. What a weird place. <clears throat> Whoa, look at that goofy fucking Pokemon they've got. Whoa, wow. <laughs> These guys have some, like, high-level shit. I've just got base Quaxly. Thanks to the resub, Rex. 
Let's ride, team. No worries, squad. We got it. Quaxley's here. Take the. Uh, I don't know what kind of Pokemon this is. Take this! Did we win? What is happening? We're doing it! Yes! You're mine! Welcome to the team, idiot. Should have terastalized harder. My Shungite Pokeball's never been broken. And never will. Oh. That's huge. Nice. Oh, this is a nice Pokemon. Yeah, get him in here. Welcome aboard. You can, uh... You can take Lechonk's spot. Back on the old grind. Oh, this way. Holy shit, that's a Oh, that's one of the big guys. One of the titans. I'll come back. Yeah, I'm right here, whatever. I'll do it. Come down and fight me, coward. Nope, oh, he's gone. Hiya! Hopefully I'm not too underleveled. Base Quaxly can do anything. But let's... Why not play it safe? Let's... Terastalize a bit. And get him with the water gun. Thing's a crab. I, I don't think water's gonna do much, but... We're out here anyway. Quaxley! Just hang in there! Whoa! Wait, is this not... What kind of Pokemon is this? I thought it'd be like water. Is it ground? Quaxley! I should have healed him. I got greedy. Oh fuck, that Pokemon came in at 1 HP, shit! And I forgot this guy has no actual water type moves. We're, f we're so fucked. Oh, we are so fucked. Uh... Uh, I would, I'll throw him in there just for a soak or two. No, I have a revive. Uh, I'm gonna bring back Quaxley in a sec. What does soak do again? Changes the target type to water. Oh, that's that's so fucking worthless. <laughs> okay, let's just bring back Quaxley. He's our only chance. If you can just stand here for a couple turns, Weasel, we'll be good. 
<clears throat> you can soak then attack with Palmy. My Palmy is pretty low level though. I don't think it's gonna do much. I actually think Waxley's gonna be my best bet. Check this shit out. Watch this water gun go crazy again. Quaxley will solo. There we go, we just eat that. Bang, and now we feed him a little dish of our own. Oh, that's so fucked for us. Oh, that's so fucked for us. What is happening? Stop doing this. Oh god. That's good for us. Good for us. I believe Quaxley, he can- Quaxley can eat one more. He can eat one more. I know he can. Quaxley! <laughs> Damn it. Alright, alright. That we're, we're still fine. We're still fine. Let's... Let's just get... We're gonna use another revive. We're bringing Quaxley back. Oh, you couldn't survive an extra attack. That's so rough. Ugh. Maybe I should just heal him and use him instead. But I think he'll still get one shot because of the type advantage. Fighting against ground is bad, right? I would imagine. I can't cheese any damage here. I'm lucky. It's not ground type, it's rock. <laughs> okay, uh, if you say so. Chat was saying it's ground, but if it's rock, then this will be good for me. Holy shit! Okay, it's definitely rock. Oh, god damn! The let- Oh, god damn! The four- the, the four Grand Slam Super Ham? He put the wood on him! Why did he run away? What? Do I have to fight him again? You fucking coward. Here I come! I will use all of my materials here. Uh, I don't really want to revive. Well, Buizel, I'll, I don't have a problem reviving. Oh yeah, I do have some XP candy from the raid. I might as well use that. Oh yeah, yeah, now we're cooking. Get a, uh... oh, I should keep that. Just get pound out of here. Double hit, huh? Double hits a normal attack, right? <sighs> yeah, just get work up out. I'm never gonna fucking use it. Oh my god, he's evolving! My boy's becoming a man! Nice. Quaxwell. Wonderful. Welcome aboard. Feed him another candy. Perfect. Okay, I think we're ready for the fight now. hey -ah! From the top turnbuckle!
Oh my god, it's eating a uh, spaced leaf. <laughs> no! The one thing we couldn't afford to happen. Oh, but I wait, I can terastalize again. Alright, get him with the. Is the Aqua Jet better? Pretty sure the Aqua Jet's better, right? It's gotta be. Get him! Aqua Jet also always goes first. Oh, I don't, okay. That's a good point. Quaxwell Prime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Oh, and he's targeting Shelder. Nice. Even Shelder's doing some damage here. Another Aqua Jet. This one's for your mother, though. Get him, Quaxwell. Yes, sir. Shelter again. Love that. Uh, setting me up for the KO. What a good friend. You're mine! That's how we do it. <clears throat> Thanks for the gift sub, James. The resub, Kirby and Wallaby. A bit smoky. Thanks, Arisa Maniac. Let's go! Thanks, Arisa, about it, see? And Parch.
Whoa! Bye, Arvin. What a wonderful picnic. Oh, shit, he's evil. He's got an evil little minion with him. A tiny little bad henchman. <coughs> Oh my god, I I'm gonna go take a shit. I was gonna wait till after the cutscene, but the, the dialogue never ends. I'll be right back.
Prime Axle in the Prime C2. Said pants. Okay. <laughs> So I have to go all the way around. Holy shit, what an inconvenience. Holy fuck, what an awful terrain to try and get all the way around. Maybe I could Skyrim this. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh my god, let me over. There's another raid. Oh no, there's another TM. The prime crazy eight. You already told me that, that's why I'm fucking here. Why do they keep repeating themselves a million fucking times? Ugh. Next she's gonna say you can make your own choices. You do what you want.
There's the prime cereal in the resub guppy. How about you then? Here I come. I actually totally forgot that this was a fire Pokemon. What? They can do that? Oh my god. Oh god! Not the little guy. Oh no! So this is absolutely not the first Team Star guy I'm supposed to be going for. It's a level 25. The only reason my Quaxley's this high is because I dumped all my candy into him. Just for the sake of killing a Titan early. This is going to be rough. Aqua Cutter is good from what I remember, right? Oh yeah, that shit, that shit hits. Thanks to Resub Nahu. Thanks, the Reese of Equestrian. Thanks for the support, Clive. Let's do it. Oh, wait, wait, I only get to use the first three. <laughs> that changes things. 
Let me heal Quaxly. Well, actually, does he... It actually might heal it on its own. Okay, so... Unfortunately, Buizel doesn't have any water moves. So I'm probably just gonna have to use... Him. It'll probably just have to be these three. Hmm. It's not bot spam, it's copy pasta from that one guy from earlier. Which is just as lame, I agree. But it's not bots. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. That's all I got. gang let's take it to him okay interesting oh, wrong way I'm just gonna let him keep soloing. Oh, whatever, I'll send out the last guy too. Not bad. That's better than I expected from him. I just need Quaxley to keep popping off. I actually, I don't think I'm gonna send out the others right now. I'm just gonna let Quaxley do everything. Yeah, whatever. I'll let these other two die. Holy shit, what a clutch. Jesus, Quaxley. little guys being strong, but they're not stronger than Quaxly. Thank you, Tier 1 Phantom. Can I go heal before this, or no? Here's the resub lichen. The prime randy and the resub lowbrow.
Damn, I don't get to heal before this. Alright, Quaxley. Now's the time to really pop off. Or Quaxwell. I keep forgetting it's Quaxwell now. Aqua Cutter, that shit. That was super effective. <laughs> Interesting. That did no damage despite being super effective. That did a ton of damage despite being not very effective. That does not bode well. Okay, gotta heal. gonna make it when does the Sun go down This is so sad. It's fine. Wait, it's finally down. I believe Quaxwell can kill here. Do it, Quaxwell. That's my fucking boy. That's so clutch. Holy shit, that's so clutch. How many Pokemon does she have? Fuck, I'm, I'm actually debating not healing. Wait, I have to fight the car? Maybe I should heal. I don't think there's any way that I one-shot the car. Alright, I'm gonna heal just to be safe. Hopefully this doesn't do much damage. It does not. Okay, I can outheal that. Let's do one more and then we can start weaving in attacks. This is dark now? No, I don't think it is. I don't know if it is or not. Who cares? This will be fine. Wait, Screech is a dark attack. That's gonna be bad for us. That's so bad for us, damn. I should have just went full offensive. Oh, uh, that's tough. Alright, Quaxwell, you did fine. Damn, all my other Pokemon are so low for this. <laughs> They're just not a high level. I thought I could maybe solo it all with Quaxwell. Alright, let's get wacky. I'm just gonna go down the list. <coughs> let's go roll out. Yeah, I was hoping maybe I'd go first. No shot. That speed boost is a little nuts. We're we're running out of we're running out of time.
I've got a strat. This is actually going to be so big brain. It won't work long. But it'll buy me some time. Alright, Quaxwell, the savior. He won't go first with Aqua Jet. I still have Aqua Jet, so I can get some damage in. Oh, that's so much less than I thought that would be. No point in healing first, he's gonna some one shot me no matter what. Same strat, we're just gonna farm a little damage like that. I'm go I'm going down like an actual warrior here. I'll die a warrior's death, fall on my own sword. We're giving it everything she's got. Get back in there, Quaxel. <laughs> Just keep whittling away. Whoa, wait, 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 what? Wait, that's actually huge. Wait, how did I eat that one so hard? Maybe, maybe out of Screech? This could be just what we needed. One more potion than damage. Oh, he lowered his special attack with overheat. Uh, God damn it. I just, I, I just need one turn. <laughs> One turn buffer. I can't just attack or I die on the next one. I just need him to t like take one break here. That actually might be enough. I don't think he does 19. Aqua Cutter. Run it. How much did he... Uh, he, he, d he did 18 on the last attack. Please reset Blank, Isaac, Xanderman, and Tier 1 Wake. Last revive. I'm ready for a miracle. That. Oh. I thought I had one more. Damn. Unlucky. Shit. It was a valiant attempt.
We uh, whoops, we almost had it. <coughs> Go play an easier game. There's literally no easier game in the world. I just went to a, a later stage thing with low level base level Pokemon. The only reason my Quaxwell is 23 is because I had candy I used. I just thought it'd be fun. Pokemon pretty much plays itself though. I still could have had that too. And I'm gonna do it again. How far away am I? Please grind. Nope. I can make this work. Do I have to go th Oh, if I have to go through, like, the farming shit again, though, then I won't bother. That's so fucking boring. I did not like that mechanic. No, you don't? Okay, good. Man trying to make the game get a lower rating on the moist meat. What are you talking about? What kind of delusion is that? I'm not even moist metering it. But yeah, I mean, the game's not very amazing or anything. It runs at like a constant 10 FPS. The pop-in is outrageous. Half the shit has no texture. The dialogue never fucking ends. It was two hours of non-stop, unrelenting, boring-ass narrative. Like, yeah, there's a lot of problems. But what I'm doing right now isn't one of them. At least this is kind of fun. Like, it's a challenge, at least. Oh, I still have to go around even... I think I got it this time. Does she always start with sun? Because if so, I think... Let me swap around my, my order here. I'm going to assume she always starts with sun. So let's just throw... I don't know. Just... Oops. I'm meant to move. Just throw this up here. Nah, I'm not getting any potions or revives. Alright. <laughs> Let's see if we squeak it out. He's a prime Lidl. Now once sunlight's out, then I can swap to Quaxwell and hopefully sweep. I really thought Ralt would be able to survive at least one attack. That's okay though. I just need Quaxwell to sweep. Throw out another really low level for now. More fodder. Do we have anything to lower? Let's charge through again. No, let's just boost me.
Thanks for Prime Skin. Yeah, maybe I should have done quick attack. It wouldn't have mattered though. The chip on that wouldn't have done too much for me. Now Weasel and I think Sun runs out here, right? Then we can go for the Quaxwell sweep. <coughs> Does Sun run out here? Does anyone know? Was it three or four turns? I think it was four. We're just gonna go here. Oh, it's five turns. Okay. That's fine. Again, I just need the Quacks well sweep. What's this do again? Accuracy. I really didn't think he'd get one shot, to be honest. I don't know why, but I thought he'd make it. Rollout wouldn't have worked for me. He would have went first regardless, so... No reason not to do that. Alright. Quaxwell sweep, baby. Let's go. Let's see if it'll work for me. I'm not, like, optimistic, but... I'm hopeful. Run it. Thanks to the Prime, Ray, and the resub, Mizeppa. Okay, one more. Alright, car time. Pokemon kind of bad. Is everyone's eyes closed? My Pokemon are level 10! <laughs> Literally, I just caught them! And I just thought it'd be f This is why it is so hard to, like, play a game and, like, set your own challenges for fun. Because then chat just fucking whines about it. Quaxwell is my only high-level Pokemon because of candy I had. I don't think we get this here. This probably kills. I've got one more turn in me. Oh! And the burn. Damn. That's all she wrote. Unless that turbo crits. Is it Prime Revenge? Damn. Yeah, I just can't do it with this. Oh well, it was worth a try. Alright. Where's the one I'm supposed to go to first? I killed the Titan. I'm pretty sure I killed the Titan early. 
Mm, what's this guy? Is this another Team Star or is this Victory Road? I think that's the first gym. It is. See this thing? <coughs> what? Oh, I forgot I had this guy out. Take this! Uh, the first one's supposed to be the bug gym. Ah. Get him with the old double hit. Huge. I already have a Shinx. I don't need another one. Oh fuck, I still have the... Oh well. I still have the Ralt out. Sly. There's a strategy of pumping up one Pokemon and curb stomping everything work in this game too? It's Pokemon, man. Literally anything will work. guy who got wiped twice in a row. I'm literally just never going to do anything challenge related ever again. I, I can't, I can't, I can't handle the chat. I literally can't. God, that's so fucking miserable. I don't know how anyone who does nuzlocks or anything deals with that kind of shit. That is so unbelievably annoying. Who's the resub window in tier one, Cheryl? From now on, I'm just gonna play the baby ass games and the the way they're meant to be played, the most efficient way imaginable. Who's in my boxes? I keep forgetting this bread guy. God, stop running into these fucking one-pixel Pokemon. I'm just trying to go my own way. Is the bike a Pokemon? Yeah, it is. It's the legendary.
Holy fuck, this is ugly. I mean, it's the Switch. I don't know what you're expecting. But yeah, everything's uh, in a pretty janky and rough state. Things are a bit snert. They don't make a Pokemon game every year, do they? I don't think they do. Wasn't Arceus two years ago? No, they do now? Huh. Arceus was this year. No shot. Oh my god, what? Came out January of this year. What the fuck? Oh god, yeah, that 100% explains it then. They rushed the fuck out of this game. Holy shit. I, re I really thought Arceus was a while ago. Yeah, I remembered Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but I was under the impression that that wasn't even Game Freak. What the fuck? I had no idea Arceus was this year. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl was November of 2021. Arceus was January of 2022, and this same year, same team. Holy shit. Holy shit. <clears throat> yeah, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl was not the same team. That was ILCA. But both Arceus and this are Game Freak. What the fuck? In the same year. Yeah, no, I mean, no wonder. Not, now it's making sense.
That's a shame, because I like the formula with Arceus. I would have expected them to, like, actually put a lot of time into it and flush it out for the next one, instead of just drop this half-baked one. Like, this is a state that is just... No matter how much you love Pokemon, and so far I'm not I'm not very far. The game's been almost nothing but dialogue up until now. And then me trying to goofily beat level 26 gym or boss with level 10 Pokemon, but everything else has just been pretty standard Pokemon affair. But no matter how much you like Pokemon, I think it's in an inexcusable state for $60. It legitimately doesn't go over 20 FPS under the best of circumstances, and half the shit pops in and is literally at 2 FPS slideshows. It is rough. Like, just jumping, look at that. They, I don't know why they would rush this out. They have a good formula. Like, they've finally done something different, but now they're giving Game Freak no time to try and flush it out and make it good. Which is a shame. But yeah, I know most people don't care. Least of all, diehard Pokemon fans. People like you still buy it, little bro. Did everyone get hit by a fucking stupid beam or something all of a sudden? I literally buy every game. Usually for the sake of the moist meter, but this one I'm not gonna bother. But great smoking gun there. That was quite the gotcha. Thanks for five gift subs, Flows. Appreciate it, man. And the recent Kakami. Uh, it's pretty standard Pokemon stuff, man. Like, the game itself isn't shit or anything. They didn't ruin the game. It's just in an inex inexcusably bad state. From, like, the actual way it runs and works. Okay, we'll just start with three. Hey, morning, Rice. I'm feeling better, man. Thank you. I think you said Mike in the Prime. Polavina. Catch it. Shit's trash. It's like a little acorn. Sub <laughs> Oasis and cereal. Gotta be on DS. Pokemon games that were on the DS were pretty hype. I never had a DS, but I did emulate a few of them. <clears throat> that shit did go hard. What? I didn't even hit that thing. What? What the fuck? Oh, 
Oh, you some dirty. He's a tier one expendable. Resub Jimmy. <laughs> oh man. He's a resub blade. According to Google, this game's been in development since November to, there's November to December of 2019. I find that so hard to believe, considering they also had Arceus come out this year. And Game Freak is not that talented to somehow run those two projects in that short a time. Er, and Game Freak's not that talented in general. Full stop. I don't think this game has been in development that long. If it did, if it is... Then that's even more pathetic for this. He's a bit tyrant. Why do the raids and no catch? Just to farm candy. These are one star Pokemon, they're kind of dog ass. What is this? A Meowth? Oh my god! That was actually perfect. You're mine. He's a tier one Ray. And the resub mystic. Let's nuzzle do again. Just replace charge. <laughs> would you see? Would you say Legends Arceus is better than this? Not far enough along to know for sure, but so far my answer would be yes. They clearly had more time with that one, so they were able to like actually realize some mechanics. Here, it is feeling very, very rushed. But I don't think Arceus was amazing by any means. In what way? I, in At the very least, even Arceus with all of its problems didn't have this level of jank. Like, look at that. This drops my frames drastically. It, it, it's not just that, it's like any movement, really. Going into a city, everything, ends up hitting everything at 2 FPS. 
And the pop-ins were not this bad in Arceus. The performance here is just unforgivably awful. Do you think they'll fix it? I... I doubt it. I don't recall if they ever did any major patches for Arceus, but Game Freak has never struck me as a company that does that. They just go into work, control C, control V for Pokemon every now and then. At least until Arceus, then they actually tried something new. And then didn't have enough time to actually make it great for this one. Oh, I didn't one shot. <laughs> <We're lucky. coughs> Exit tier one chill. This game is different from like every other Pokemon game, LMFAO what? Were you were you not listening? I said until Arceus. Then they tried something different and didn't have enough time to fully realize it for this one. People just have selective hearing when they desperately want to defend something. Like, I'm not even saying the game is shit. Its performance is shit. It is not a $60 performance. This is beyond unacceptably janky and half-baked. Working yo with Pokemon in terms of gameplay? I think the gameplay is fine. There's the Pokemon formula is still absolutely adored by most people. And I still find it fun. Like, yeah, it's pretty formulaic. You already know what to expect, you know everything to expect, but that's still fine. It, they don't need to like drastically refine the formula or anything. What they did with Arceus was a good step in the direction they should be going. Innovating around it and changing things. And here, they wanted to do it again, but since Arceus came out not even 10 months ago, they just didn't have fucking time. So it's very undercooked. Like here, if you want something off top of mind, add voice acting. I don't understand, there's not a single good argument for why there's no voice acting in a modern Pokemon game. The biggest media franchise of all time, you're telling me they can't afford voice acting for their major games? Like, it just shows a complete lack of care, if you ask me. to take down this one star. Unlucky. Thanks for resub, Josh. You can do it solo. Yeah, I know, but it's more fun with a, like a whole team. It's quicker. I have a full party, what do you mean? There's one other guy here. What full party are you talking about?
Easy tier one, Evan. Oh, they give you bots. Baby, huh? I'll catch it. Ah. <laughs> Isn't it dead? Said Logan. Oh, the 10 gift subs, Fisherman. Thank you for that, Fisherman. Appreciate it, bro. If it were in your hands, which game developer would you give the next Pokemon game to? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know. Valve. Why the fuck would I give it to Valve? What? What in their resume even, like, resonates with this kind of game? I was trying to think of something, or a studio, that at least specializes in, like, RPGs or something. There's a tier 1, Zolitary, in the resub, Coley. The team for Persona. That's, a, that's really not a, a bad call, actually. I think they'd kill it. I think they'd knock that shit out of the park if they were given a shot at a Pokemon game. Even if not like a mainline game. Oh my god. Thanks to tier 1 Muffins. The gym leader. It's a bug gym. Eh, what else is around here? Psychic gym. Don't know what that question mark is. Isn't there a titan somewhere around here too? Thanks, Resub Skyler. Alright, I, I just looked at the time. It's almost 3.30. I'm gonna go to bed. It's getting late. Alright everyone, thanks for tuning in to everyone who donated, big thanks, new subs, welcome aboard, sub means a lot, I appreciate the subbing, enjoy the emotes, and I will see you all tomorrow, most likely, if I'm still feeling pretty decent, have a great night!